up, what's up, everybody? A good morning to you, or good night, or good day, or whatnot. It's bagel time. New catchphrase? Probably not. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at um, we're gonna take a took a look. We're gonna take a look at a monster I got um, what like a day ago for the um, a day ago, not even a day ago. I don't remember. Um, but it's the Zephicus, the wind charging shark. Uh, so this I got uh, I got in Saturday morning summons right the video right before this and then I awakened him and made him into a five-star and I was just gonna make him food Well, I was gonna make him food and then I was like oh, let me let me check him out so I awakened him and I was like interesting so uh, one of the cool things is of course he's a charging shark he's got his skills are easy to upgrade even though I only have one so far uh, come to us you trolls don't give me the new monsters fine um, his skills are easy to upgrade, and he is similar to uh, the Chimeras. He's like a like a baby, like a poor man's Chimera, right? So we have a lot of his stuff um, works with it buffs. He buffs himself, right? And then he gets another turn, and then um, and then he does stuff that affects that's speed affected, right? Even though the Chimera is like attack based on speed. This guy doesn't have an attack based on speed, but I, I kind of feel like he's a baby poor man's Chimera because, hey, I'm never going to get a Chimera anyway, right? So, uh, so yeah, let's take a look at his skills. We have first skill, Lunging Wave, performs a lunge, uh, increasing your critical rate for one turn. Uh, so self-crit rate buff, uh, attacks an enemy target, decreasing attack power and attack speed for two turns with an 80% chance. This is even good. I wouldn't necessarily take him into dungeons, but this is not a bad skill to have in dungeons. He just doesn't have much to go on aside from that for being a usable dungeon monster, uh, except for the leader skill actually, which we'll get we'll get to that. Um, so like I said, yeah, decreasing attack power and attack speed. This could be good for like maybe even Giants B10 uh, is what I is what I was thinking. Uh, and then call upon power of the sea to increase the attack power and attack speed for three turns. It's just you though. If this would definitely be a Giants B10 monster if this was everyone. So attack speed buff plus attack power buff. Oh my god, that'd be awesome, right? Uh, but we do have the leader skill increase the attack speed of ally monsters with wind attribute by 23%. This could be good in Giants B10 because we do have the Orochi that people like to use as a leader for Giants B10. But uh, but Orochi also does dots. So and Orochi Orochi is just a better monster for that anyway. But this is a natural three star. But I saw some of the damage this, this guy was doing. He buffs his crit rate, all right, and then he buffs his uh, attack power. So that's not that's not bad, right? And then speed buff and speed decrease for them. So let's take a look at man. I talk too much. It's three minutes already. Three minutes already. So let's yes. Why well, would have done that too? Uh, so let's do let's drive. Nice. And this is Garen Forest. Uh, Garen Forest one hell. And this is with no upgrades to the skills too. Nath. Oh, we should have buffed. Shit. Damn. Shit, damn. What's the matter with me, right? No, oh, let me, uh. I know some of you people. Some of you peoples like that. You want to see what skills I'm using in the cooldown times and stuff like that. I'll try to remember more often. I hope. No promises. <laughs> no prom. Oh, why didn't we buff? Buff, buff, buff. But yeah, since since this gets another turn, um, skill uh, the cooldown is actually not too bad. So we we do have him on violent too, but he does get another turn. So see, we buff, and then we get another turn. Let's take this bad boy out first. Actually, no, I think we take the ones on the sides out first, right? Yeah. Uh, I I think they're gonna die first. Getting to buff. So the, I, I mean, it's it's a five star. He does have runes on him. He's got violent, uh, violent guard. Just because I had I had the guard runes, so I used violent guard. I had guard runes with uh, attack percentage on two and six, so that's why I used those. 
pretty cool. Okay, so Utskirts Hell 1. He can solo at uh, at 5 stars. Uh, but we do have pretty pretty decent runes on him, though. So let's take a look at his ruins. So he's first off, he's an HP monster. He's an HP monster. I don't like him with HP. I like him with attack. Because he busts his attack part and crit rate. So I, f I feel it. Like, that's really good. I want more speed on him. He only has uh, 13 speed. I'd love um, higher attack power, higher crit rate, higher crit... Actually, if we put Blade on here, then um, then the crit rate should be fine because we're going to buff it anyway, and then we're going to we're gonna upgrade the runes and stuff. But, um, but yeah, I'd like him with higher attack power, higher speed, and higher crit damage too, since he does, of course, buff his crit rate. That's going to be pretty nice. Uh, so let's check out the... Let's check out the... Some... A little bit more damage. Not like crazy more damage. Uh, we have drive. Harmful effect rate plus 10. Nice. So... Pretty, uh... Pretty good. Plus 10 plus 10. There you go. 80% plus 10 plus 10. And then spiritism. Ooh. Uh, and that's got two cool... Uh, two skill cooldown time. Dude, I'm still... I'm still half out of it, guys. You'll have to... I just wanted to make sure I, I keep making videos for you. So what do we have here? We have attack with a little bit of crit rate, crit damage. Not a bad rune. I wish it wasn't uh, guard. It could have been like Nemesis or Blade would have been would have been better. Uh, and then we have attack on here. We have crit rate, crit damage is good substats uh, for, for an attack monster, of course. And then we have on here, we have uh, no crit rate, crit damage or speed. Uh, we have a little bit, a tiny bit of speed on here, but that's not going to go up. Uh, and then we have no speed on here. He's, I think he's, he's, he needs, he needs more speed though. Uh, we have HP and resistance there, which are never bad. But like I said, I used it for the primary stat, and then it had pretty, pretty decent substats, keep him alive longer. And then we have resistance, accuracy, crit damage, HP. I need, I need better stuff on here. I need attack, crit damage, um, accuracy. We do have a skill that requires accuracy but I'm not too concerned about it uh, with this monster necessarily so I really want I want crit rate crit damage attack percentage and speed I just I have violent runes on so many monsters that uh, <laughs> that I need and he's a, he's a five star I'm not gonna put my best runes on him right and then we have here we have HP and accuracy this is not the rune I want for here uh, and then we have speed accuracy and defense this is speed, yeah, but this is not the rune I want for here either. So this really isn't ruined the way I want him to be ruined. There's some decent, like, crit rate, crit damage, substats on a couple of these. But, um, but yeah, if he, had, if he had better runes, he'd be, he'd be more powerful. But, yeah, he seems like an interesting, not really a solo monster, even though he kind of did solo a hell level at five stars. He's really not a solo monster. He's, I think he's more of an arena monster, to be honest. So he's more of an arena arena hitter against things like um, man against two. Who's he gonna be good for? He's he's gonna be good against uh, wind monsters and against water monsters. So maybe against things like uh, Sigmaris, because Sigmaris is based on attack, and if he decreases Sigmaris' attack power, then that's good. Stuff like that. Stuff like that, or even <laughs> even Lucian decreases Lucian's attack power. GG Lucian, GG. But you need him speedy to attack before Lucian. He does have the speed, uh, like I said, he does have the speed leader skill, and you can use that anywhere. You can use that anywhere. Guild battles, arena, dungeons, anywhere you need. So, anyway, that was just a, a little info on the Zephicus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go build him some more, I guess. And, uh, I don't know if I'm going to six-star him. We'll see. We'll see. But I got so many, I got so many monsters, I still have to six-star. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Just a little, a little little gameplay spotlight on the Zephicus while I'm building him up. So, and like I said, I got him I got him yesterday. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video where hopefully I'm feeling less crappy. So,